Looks like they're saying AWS segment sales up 12% year over year to 22.1 uh, billion dollars. Is that the most important number here, or is there something else, uh, margins perhaps you're looking at? Also, you know, it looks like the operating income uh, that they're guiding to between 5.5 and 8.5 billion should uh, reassure some people who might have wondered if we're going through an investment cycle here. Yeah, if you look at the way Amazon and Apple and Microsoft and all the big heavyweights manage the street, it, it's it's really kind of like a symphony. They manage it so well and manage expectations to where when they produce, unless something really goes wrong for them, they outperform and the stock gets a nice pop. The thing that's interesting to me about the initial reaction, which is so strong because clearly everybody likes the numbers, is what's the guidance going to look like? I mean, Qualcomm was was pretty stagnant until they gave guidance on their call yesterday, and then it got absolutely bombed after that. So I think people are a little premature to celebrate, but at the same time, it's, it's good news so far. All right. Uh, Eric, I want to get your reaction on this, too, especially North America segment sales looks like increased 11 percent, international segment 10 percent year on year, and that AWS segment sales up 12 percent year on year to $22.1 billion. Yeah, I'll celebrate, Morgan. <laughs> I own the stock. I'm, I'm happy when I see an 8 percent pop. Come on. Um, this is, I think this is a story where expectations for, for Amazon were probably the lowest of any of the Magnificent Seven coming into this print. And AWS definitely was important. I think, I think people felt that going from 30% growth to 20% to expectations for 10% for this time around, I think a lot of people thought this is just going to go through the floor eventually. I think what this print has showed is that they're, you know, we're probably, they've troughed already in terms of AWS growth. Uh, I think we have uh, some some back half of the year growth to look forward to, and I think the margin story is is probably what's getting more interest. Uh, once we see if we if we if we see signs that retail margins ticked up, um, you know, as well as AWS and the growth prospects there, I mean, that's going to make people look at the stock again. George, it's it's interesting. It looks like um, the street was expecting around you know 138 billion for Q3 revenue, and that's the low end of the guide here of 138 to 143. Has the street been sleeping on Amazon? Um, maybe still, you know, when it comes to AI, there's been a lot of talk about Microsoft having the lead, um, even though Amazon's talking about bedrock and, you know, their plans there for AI and, uh, and models. Um, people still seem to be talking more about Microsoft and even Google. Do they have a chance here with these results to shift the narrative? That's what they're trying to do, and I think they're doing it very effectively. I'd go back to my orchestration comment that these big companies know how to manage the street and expectations just brilliantly. It's really fun to watch them do it so well. And I've been celebrating on Amazon all year. I was buying the stock in October and November of last year. I just don't want to celebrate too long. We've already had about a 55% move this year, which has been remarkable for a six- to seven-month period. And going forward, it's going to get harder. Uh, Eric, I want to get your thoughts on Amazon when it comes to – AI, because it says here uh, in the release you have some commentary about that uh, from Andy Jassy, basically talking about um, the fact that they uh, that they are in a leadership position in the cloud with a slew of generative AI releases, runs through some of those examples, uh, and says that they're also, in addition to AI, seeing strong demand for advertising services and goes on through. Um, but, but the AI piece of it, specifically, um, do they need to say more about that? And I'm thinking about John's interview with Jassy just a couple weeks ago here. Well, yeah, they, 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 there's an opportunity there for sure. That they, along with Apple, really have shied away from from talking about AI the most, I would say. And therefore, I think the fact that they're coming out in the release, and then we'll see what's what, what comes on the call. Uh, they can they can speak to that more. I think it can get people excited. I, I, I agree with John. I think that uh, you you would think if you were just going by the news headlines of this year that that Microsoft was in the lead in the cloud, and that's obviously Amazon is still the king here. Uh, well, I think if they can speak to the AI part more, that that will you know help to change the narrative that Microsoft sort of took took the baton from them. Well, Andy tried to tell us here on overtime uh, last <laughs> month, but maybe not everybody was listening.